Let's now bring in Dave Walker, retired homicide sergeant with the Tulsa, Oklahoma Police Department. Sergeant Walker, good morning to you. I mean, you and I just talked on Friday morning hoping for weekend updates. Uh, it seems the case was cracked wide open this weekend. Good morning, and yes, uh, I think we alluded to the fact that they were probably pretty close to, to resolving the issue, and, and it seems like over the weekend, the last two days, they uh, made great strides in, in bringing this to at least a conclusion for uh, the media and, and for the families uh, that are involved. And law enforcement, per Nancy's reporting, confirming two bodies have been found, but the medical examiner has not come back with a positive identification just yet. But when officials say they believe the bodies belong to these two women, I mean, I, I have to imagine they're pretty sure it's them, right, to, to release that information. Well, certainly, I think that uh, you're looking for two bodies. You find two bodies. Uh, it's relatively, it's only two weeks, so they're not going to be decomposed to the point where you can't determine that those bodies are going to be the ones uh, that you're looking for. So, unfortunately, yes. Uh, in my opinion, the the uh, medical examiners have a great uh, archaeological staff, and they took over that, and uh, the recovery of the bodies w was you know, evidentiary going to be a success. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, it's going to bring a bad end to, to the families. Yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get uh, positive IDs. We're expecting that press conference from OSBI sometime today. What questions are you still hoping that they answer, sir? Well, I'd like to know the uh, involvement uh, of the four. Uh, obviously, I don't think all four were involved in the murder to the point where they were in the van or the car or around when it happened. Um, you know, you can get charged with murder just by being a part of it, not reporting it and disposing of bodies. Uh, cell phone evidence is going to be huge in this case. Uh, so I would, you know, like to know everybody's involvement. And there's probably going to be one of them for that are talking. That's how you're going to be led to the bodies and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. when you got that many people involved, you're going to have a resolution. It's just not going to be what you want. Yeah, I know all four arrested on two counts of first degree murder, two counts of kidnapping, one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. I'll be interested to see, you know, what kind of evidence they have against them and if that's brought to light uh, today in the press conference as well. Sergeant Dave Walker, always good to have you. We'll talk to you again soon as this continues to unfold. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.